Hey guys, with St. Patty's Day right around the corner, everybody needs something Irish to make. So I'm gonna show you how to make a Reuben from scratch. And you don't just have to eat these on St. Patty's Day. They're good year round. What a delicious, hearty, awesome blend of ingredients. Reuben's are fantastic. And before we get started, I just wanna say to everybody watching to remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and comment and like my videos and don't forget to share these with your friends and family okay so to start with the reuben um, i am going to make a reuben with thousand islands dressing homemade thousand islands rather than mustard because that is what i like for our thousand island dressing um, i've got onions okay red onion and it's about probably uh, that's about a fourth of a cup that we're gonna put in the food processor with a clove of garlic and some pickles. Okay, and I'm gonna use, these are those thin sandwich style pickles. I'm gonna use two and cut them in half because the food processor is gonna get those all chopped up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get those blended first. So get yourself a medium-sized mixing bowl. Okay, next going into our dressing is some mayonnaise. Okay, about a cup worth. All right. Then juice of half of a large lemon. Okay, lemons are known to have seeds, so I use this little strainer so we don't get any seeds in there. I think the homemade dressing is the kicker to this recipe. Some ketchup, we're gonna go one, two, about three tablespoons of ketchup course some salt we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt some fresh black pepper several grinds and some dried paprika a half a teaspoon and there you have it okay homemade thousand islands now you can put this on sandwiches like the Reuben or you can even put it on salad So get that nice and mixed. Okay. These are gonna be good. Okay, so I've got my frying pan heating up and I have some Swiss cheese, some corned beef. Uh, I'm using boar's head. They really do make good meat and cheese, but you can use any corned beef and any cheese. Now Rubens are known for Swiss cheese, so we're definitely gonna go traditional there. Okay, and we're just gonna layer this up and then grill it. So we're gonna need some butter. Now, I'm using homemade pumpernickel bread, okay? You don't have to. Um, if you're interested in making my pumpernickel bread, you can actually go to my Pinterest, which is Dash of Amy, and under breads, you'll find the ingredients and steps to make homemade pumpernickel. Okay, um, a lot of Reuben's are made with either rye or pumpernickel. Use whatever bread you like. So we're gonna butter the outside of the bread first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the pan. And first thing going on is the sauce. Okay, don't be shy with it. And then cheese. Okay, the bread's a little narrow, so I'm gonna break that. Okay, and you can load these with as much meat or cheese or sauce as you like. Now, usually if you get this out at a pub, that meat is stacked, right? Really thick. Um, and then we put more cheese, okay? So sauce, cheese, meat, 
more cheese for that second piece of cheese. We're gonna put some sauerkraut in there. You can drain it on paper towels if it's liquidy. I find that it's got more liquid as you get deeper into the jar. So this one's actually not watery at all. So a nice layer of that. Butter the second bread. Just a nice light coat, okay? So it gets a good crispy grilledness to it. All right, and then we're gonna just grill it until the cheese is nice and melty and it's crispy. And it's already looking really good. So I am excited because it's almost lunchtime and it looks like I'm gonna be having a Reuben. Okay, this is grilling nicely. It's looking golden on the other side. So I'm gonna ever so carefully give it a flip. Okay, this looks really good. The cheese seems to be melted and that's the key. You want that cheese melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. Okay, it's the moment of truth. I gotta try it. Uh, one thing about Rubens, they are messy. But we're gonna see how it is. delicious. You better believe I'm going to make these on St. Patty's again to honor my Irish heritage because freckles don't lie, do they? With a nice cold beer. Can't wait. Make the Reuben. Let me know what you think. Have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.